I go about doing that? Do I just, you know, make a statement or a declaration that, Father, I choose you as my lamb today, or is it something that's done within my heart and I don't have to speak it, or what? What happens? So where this week, this is a divine appointment that we're supposed to do, you know, um, set aside this week. You know, we're kind of like the reserves two, 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 two weeks out of the year. Mm -hmm. Well, this is one of those weeks where we are expected to uh, meet with him and do what he would want us to do. So the choice is going to be made regardless. The right. choice is going to be made. Right. And by... Reading scripture, we know that that's not the only thing, right? But scripture is the word of God. And we know that. So when we say, or when you say that, uh, choose the scripture, you're, I guess, basically saying, choosing uh, choosing the Father for the Father. And, yeah. yeah choosing, choosing Him over everything else. Hmm. But, you know. You could think about it on a higher level, though, when you start to think about, like, these seven-year cycles and how um, we have to make a bigger choice that's going to affect us over the course of the next seven years. What do you mean by that? Well, like, if you go back to 2015, when we made this choice before, you have to understand, okay, well, what kind of choice, what did we choose based on uh, looking back and seeing what we've done over the last seven years, what what is it do we think we actually chose then? Um. So back then, do you remember if we consciously, or did you? Because I know I didn't. Did you, as a head of our household, make a conscious conscious decision to choose that day, the tenth? to choose the father as our king. Did you do that? Yeah. We did that when we chose the wine and we went out and we got the wine. That's one way we choose the Messiah as our king is to be obedient to his scripture and when it tells us to go and, and um, to have communion on that night. Okay, so we know we're supposed to have communion on that night in remembrance of him by going out four days or three and a half days earlier and getting that wine was a declaration that this is our king simply because we're being obedient you know it's part of you know having a king it's now we're now obedient and we do what he say mm -hmm. I think I remember that because I was definitely not in the mindset of choosing a king um, we had just trans we were just about to transition from one you know way of thinking and one lifestyle to a totally different so I remember being very defiant about drinking the wine because you know in my lifestyle and growing up in my ho household you know drinking wine was you know it made you a sinner so I was transitioning from um, thinking, thinking that lifestyle you know thinking those thoughts to you saying, okay, here's a cup of wine, you have to drink it, and me being defiant and saying, no, I'm not drinking that, but I do remember actually taking a sip because I really, quote, had to, and, but I can see how, you know, um, those seven years, um, what am I trying to say? I'm I was wondering if you're trying to say that the past seven years is you now unwill, unwillingly taking a sip of what's going on? Like you, you, um, mm. and I probably just cut you off, but it, it's, it seems like there's a correlation mm -hmm. between the relationship that you've had over the past seven years and what you just described there. Because, see, now that's the first time I've ever heard that. Mm -hmm. But if I were to describe what you've gone through, for the past seven years, based on this conversation that we're having, I would say you absolutely chose that. You, that's what you chose. That, yeah, I would say that it could be a correlation, but to say that I'm unwillingly, um, no, I wouldn't say I was unwillingly. 
in this well, lifestyle. Well, well, now, how long it is that you? Oh, how long it is that you described it when you said that you know you mm -hmm. was was. Um, I was getting ready to take the wire. Yeah, I was a little bit defiant um, because simply because of uh, my. I can see I can see correlations with it. But yeah, my mind was totally different than what it is now. I totally, for one, I didn't believe that we're supposed to be keeping the laws. I didn't believe that uh, there was. I thought anything spiritual was dealt with voodoo and something that you know pagans and um, other people dealt with. Uh, I. You know, believe that, you know, my husband was wrong. <laughs> you know what he was talking about. I believe that, you know, just so many other things that my mindset was so used to. I was, you know, I was a Christian. And I'm not saying that to put people, Christians down because, you know, I'm going to say 90% of us who listen to this here were and probably, and so, you know, some still are Christians. But just my mindset was totally different. But there are cor correlations that I can see now. And, um, you know, I think you, yeah. So, so you very well could have made the choice. I mean, because mm -hmm. like what you described, you're saying that all of that was could have or may have been going on during the time when this decision was made. Right. All this disbelief and, you know. Mm -hmm. So you actually came into this with this level of choice being made. This is... Um, yeah. And so then, but mm -hmm. if that be the case, mm -hmm. then yeah. this would be what goes... We could, we this this could be how it works for everybody. Is yeah. where, I'm, where I'm getting, where I'm going with this. Yeah, I see where you're going with it, and you know it's hard for me to say. I'm actually putting my badness or wrongness out in well, front of everybody. No, I'm not going to talk about you. I'm talking about everybody else. Could it be that this goes on for everybody when we come in? There, there are going to be some who are going to show up at Passover. Just because somebody invited them, they don't even know why they're there at all. Mm -hmm. It's just that they were told to be there at Friday night, mm -hmm. and now they're going to show up for Passover on Friday night. Mm -hmm. So, what kind of experience could that person expect over the next seven years yeah. if they just showed up to something they didn't know what was going on? So. Yeah, yeah, and having thoughts of, because I'm sure... I know I was. I know me. I'm sure I was having thoughts. Was, I'm just doing this because I'm, you know, I'm being told to do it or whatever. And so now it makes sense why uh, we're actually discouraged from actually taking Passover if we're not, I, I guess, why committed I say, to it. Why it says it will bring damnation. Damnation onto, onto it. Well, yeah. imagine if you go in and, and you are completely negative towards the Passover. You go in like, you know. I was. Uh, no, I wouldn't say well. I was negative because it was something that I thought we weren't supposed to be doing. I thought we were supposed to be doing Easter. And well, then so, that explains, <laughs> explains a lot. Then. It does explain a lot. And I'm sitting here thinking while I'm talking. And I'm like, okay, that does explain a lot. Because there really, it makes me think, dang, there really is something to this seven-year thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how... Wanting me wanting to help, you know, us is, you know, let us start getting in the right mind frame, right frame of mind to be willingly and happily, cheerfully take Passover. So now Understanding this, and we don't know that it's 100% true, you know, we're right. brainstorming here, but just entertaining the idea that this could be the case. Okay. How, how can we, and I believe you may have already gave, given the answer, I just would like to talk on it a little more. How can we um, ensure ourselves 
that we are going to do it, accept it, choose our king in a way that's going to put us in a position um, on one of the favorable mountains, like for instance, mountain number 12. Or because we can start giving, getting our mind right, getting start getting your mind right now, you know, go back, listen to uh, many of your Passover videos and actually get our get in the right frame of mind I wish you know this would have came out days before so people can start um, getting into the right frame of mind but you know the father led for it to come out today but you know I think I think you know I think that's that's something powerful because I'm seeing um, some of the things that have occurred throughout the seven years and I'm like, okay, well, maybe I did. That choice that I made um, those seven years really has something a lot to do with, you know, my frame of mind up until that. And what, and what, what about this? What if that is the only time that you have to, I'm going to say, manage? You have that time to choose your king, and the rest of your seven years go go from there. That's what we're talking yeah. about. That's what we're talking about. So if so. you don't do it right this one time, mm -hmm. then for seven years, uh -huh. praise the Father. We got two times. Yes, second Passover too. But yeah, I, I, that's that's actually exactly what I'm thinking. It's like you purchase this ticket, mm -hmm. but the ticket you purchase is the is the is the, the ticket you keep. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You come in, you buy, you know, I want the um, uh, first class, all frills, bells and whistles ticket. You know what I'm saying? You live, you know, that that life over the next seven years. But if you buy the, the um, give me the minimum, I just, you know, I want to mm -hmm. claim that I was here ticket then. Right. That's, you can be in the nosebleed section. Kind of rough. And if this here is your only chance to... Like you said, purchase that ticket, and you purchase it with a disgruntled, yeah, yeah, attitude. Then you might have a disgruntled attitude for seven years. Well, that's what. That, that, so, so based on what you're saying here, that could be your testimony that you know you, oh you came in. <laughs> um, I ain't saying I chose the the, the best one either. I, I obviously didn't choose the, the Green Mountain either, but based on your testimony. Mm -hmm. And how you felt about Passover going back there was many years ago, seven years ago, could be a direct reflection on what mm -hmm. you've actually experienced. Mm 